Meanwhile, at Planet Hollywood. That's right. Take it off. Dr. Mason? Dr. Mason? I told you to call me Sigmund. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I guess it was nothing. A sudden light reflection. It startled me. <laughs> You're a Slowed jerk. Out a comet or a meteor. No, it, it seemed to be a, a drill-shaped thing. Revolving. Or revolving. No, it, it must have been my imagination. It makes me realize how desperately alone the Earth is. And how desperately lonely I am. I am space like a speck of food floating in the ocean. Sooner or later to be... Swallowed up by some creature floating by. You're just being oh, a wussy. Now. Time will tell, Dr. Mason. We can only wait and wonder. Wonder how. Wonder when. Wonder why you're never going to see either of us in this movie again. Didn't I see one of those on the Adam and Eve website? <laughs> I mean, I've heard. Heard about it. Trill, baby, trill. Oh, well, that's practical. Otherwise, this flat saucer-shaped thing might totally tip over. David Love in Get David Love. Teenagers from space. Hormonal, moody, rebellious, imperialistic humanoids with daddy issues, intergalactic space travel capabilities, and laser weapons. So, Kylo Ren. Basically. I see, I told you they'd be needy. The build a land? Don get the clue. Calton? Calton Fall? Calton? Calton? Tom Grafe. Graffy. Yeah, there's a Timmy stuck in the world joke here that I'm just not feeling. Yeah, that looks like it could keep out the vacuum of space. Incredible edible alien. But they couldn't afford actual dog sounds. Jeez, oh, that's a decidedly extreme form of acne treatment. Teenagers. Danger zone! Archer would be proud. Chaz button. V-stripe onesie, check. Teeny tiny briefcase, check. I don't wear my helmet in the saucer. That's how badass I am. Yep, that's poop. Let's see if there's any poop over here. No poop. And there'll be no poop on my watch. <laughs> Apparently it's the clown car from space. Teenagers from outer space. Or identical 40-year-old white guys from Des Moines. Or briefcases. You sure we're not being invaded by Amway salesmen? either reacting to the Hotline Bling video or the new iPhone 7. I'm currently rethinking the animal testing for this acne treatment. We couldn't afford a dog skeleton, so we opted for the lemur one. Do you remember to bring napkins? I always forget the napkins. Technology comparable to a cotton gin. Huh? Let me knock the camera over. Send back while I drop this sick beat, yo, on my Philco transistor radio. Report preliminary findings. Thor reporting. According to my teeny tiny waffle maker. Degrees in 96 volumes. 
Intermediate fluctuation in Marfan content. Derek reporting. According to my Philco, gun smoke doesn't air until 10. Seating 7 to 1.4. More reporting. Or less Diagonal reporting. adjustment reading resisting structural forms by 2.8.0 vernums. Marapons and vernons. So apparently the units of measurement on their planets are based on hillbilly baby names. Dog tags. Get it? The back of this egg timer is telling me reply hazy, Certain try readings, again. Register above minimum requirements. Morrow! Hardy! Go below and bring up the young gargan specimen. Have it bathed and brought to my tent. On its reactions. Wait, Captain. I have found evidence of intelligent beings on this planet. Of what concern are foreign beings? <laughs> Must be the planet Donald born. Trump is from. Just as you were so unconcerned when you destroyed this small creature. So bravely. It was no more than an insect. But it had So life. I guess you're not the entomologist of the group. You had to take to satisfy your endless hunger for killing. Silence! Silence! You. Proceed, bring the gargon. That will not be necessary, Captain. Gasp. Chuck. Did I leave the iron on? Conditions here will be reported as unsatisfactory as they were on the other planets we have charted. By what a Do you not realize I have two V-stripes and you only have one? The will leave this planet immediately. According to our code of operations... You may forget the code of operations, Captain. Just like you forgot our anniversary. Only civilized beings could have made the inscription on this metal piece. They're holding in my we closed shall not fist. Have the thousands of can't really see it. brought here to destroy them. You have concern for foreign beings over our mission to locate grazing land for our Gargan herds? Recall. Ricola. It is necessary as a reserve food supply for our people. Our people are never we this expositional. We don't know our fathers or mothers were raised in cubicles. The sick and the old are put to death. Okay, maybe we are. And only way to maintain the supreme race. Oh, have you forgotten? Space Nazis. Our people have forgotten. They have been made to forget for centuries. But I have learned how it once was. Families. Weed. Brothers and sisters. Weed. There was happiness. There was weed. There was love. There was weed. What do you speak? From where have you learned such things? I have read. I have read from this book. The Book of Mormon. I discovered it and kept it hidden. Yeah. I Somehow remember weed. It survived the flames of the annihilators. I, and our people were turned I definitely into left the iron on. Centuries <sighs> ago. When we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Torture! And death for this treason. The High Court may judge me after we have accomplished our mission. We will find an uninhabited planet to which the herds of Gargans may be shipped without endangering civilized beings. Let me see that don't, book. Don't do it. I am interested he's not. to see what sways no, he's your not. mind so heavily. He's... You may have it. Thank you. I totally want to try to fool with you. I was tricking the book. Yeah. Bring up the gargon. You were a fool, Derek. This book has poisoned your mind, and you shall suffer for with it. With torture. If the gargons are shipped here, the inhabitants may destroy them. That possibility alone makes it worthwhile to locate an uninhabited planet. That book has indeed made you forget many things. We are the supreme race. We have the supreme weapon. We have the supremes. We have the taco supreme. Under God, Thor. I will study the reactions of the young Gargan. Never liked him. <laughs> Somebody never needs sunglasses. Before the High Court has you executed, <laughs> Doctor Malocchio. What happens when we return here with the Gargans? By the elements alone, they will grow to millions of times yeah. their original size. Yeah. In less time than it takes I for the sun to rise and fall. We kind of covered all this in the mission briefing. I know this. It thrives, Captain. Already I can feel it has grown heavier. Even though I'm not making any physical contact with it whatsoever. Transport ships here. Soon this planet will be covered with full-grown gargons. A safe distance from our planet... Yet their meat will be available to us for the harvesting. And he says we're expositional. Pack the instruments. I shall radio back the news of our success. I mean, we observed it for a whole 60 seconds before making a final conclusion. What could go wrong? Captain. Captain, something has gone wrong. Gah! Look here. What? What has happened? I do not know. It suddenly fell limp. 
and now does not move. I mean, Assemble once we removed him from the salt water and put him in this hat box, we assumed he'd be fine. You know what this lobster needs? Direct TV. Even aliens can't afford the premiere package. Sorry, they get the supreme race package. The atmosphere here tested above minimum, but the Gargan species cannot live due to excessive nitrogenic gas compounds emitted in our preliminary diagnosis. Maybe if you'd brought more than a Philco and radio and a waffle maker, and maybe made observations longer than a minute, you might have figured that out. Prepare for takeoff. We will continue our search in another solar system. Maybe Cleveland. And when we return to our home base, you will be presented to the high court with the evidence against you. Thor, Saul, find the prisoner and prepare him for the isolation chamber. For torture! I will make contact with base. Hmm. Spaceship design brought to you by Gallifrey. Got a nice nautical theme going here. Expedition Z06 to base. Expedition Z06 to base. Guard him. I will get the straps. I always knew you were a freak, Saul Thor. Wherever Lie the frack down. you are. Put your hands behind you. These things never go back in the box the way they came in the box. No, no, you go help him. Because repacking the equipment is way more urgent than keeping an eye on an unrestrained prisoner. I promise you I won't try to escape! Your orders are complete. Oz? He is escaping! I really do miss weed. How did he get free? He escaped from Saul. And we all know I Saul's an idiot. Derek is to be brought back alive. He is the son of our leader. Kal El? No, wait, that's that's the son of our jailer. He was connected with the leader himself. He told me this. He said Derek does not know. As the son of our leader, the High Court will pardon him. And he was mean to he me. He will be pardoned. When the sky is light, we will begin to search for him. <laughs> because it's so dark now. That. The Gargan. It is not dead. It has revived. It flourishes. The excessive nitrogenic gas compound shocked its system. Now it thrives on the very same compounds. It's this like planet if we observe things for longer, we learn more. Contact. Morrow, Saul. Secure the Gargan by expandable leg bands. Out of sight in that cave. The one from the old Easter special. The size it attains by the time we return will give us an exact growth rate to expect of the herds. At the rate the Gargan is expected to grow, what will prevent it from tearing loose the leg bands and escaping from the cave? Now why are you asking me, Saul? You really are an idiot. Happens, unless it should receive food in excess of the atmospheric element. We will leave nothing else for it to consume. Imagine thousands of beasts like that. Living in their oceans. Millions of times enlarged, roaming over this planet. They will be harvested from the air, so there will be no danger to us. Let us be quick. I do not like to look upon it. Slowly I turn, step by step, inch by inch. Now that you report the planet is suitable for our purposes, you are to return here immediately and prepare to leave the transport ships there. And yes, you are the fairest of them all. Why do you keep asking me that? Operation should he communicate in any way with the inhabitants, inferior though they may be. If we are to return now, how can he be stopped? Leave your best man to find Derek and inform him he is my son. Didn't we already do this gag in space, boss? To meet him there. He may be stubborn. He has already threatened our lives. If that becomes the case, he he must be destroyed. Ugh, and whatever. Any beings with whom he might communicate, they must be destroyed. They must be dragons. Your orders are complete. I shall send my best man. 
I heard the orders, Captain. By way of my superb Let espionage tactics. Find Derek. You will wait until the sky is light enough to begin the search. Is it just like blinding on their down. world that they think this is too Return dark to see? To meet you when we bring the Gargans. I imagine the director said, you know, the birds flying overhead will be so much more impactful if we get a grip to yell, Gah! during the scene. I shall not yeah. fail. Someone's going to mistake him for a runaway mime. Generic Midwesternville, USA. This is Derek. Derek is new in town. Derek would like to meet friends and influence people. Derek is being gawked at by children because he's the brownest person they've ever seen. No, seriously, he's the brownest person they've ever seen. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I would. Would you tell me the meaning of being lonely? Of the description on this metal piece. Sparky, 1243 Willowcrest Drive. That's just three blocks down there and a few doors up. You can't miss it. You're welcome. Hey, what's what you're doing now? What do you think this is, a Ron Jeremy film? I was just trying to make out what kind of clothes that guy was wearing. Looks like some kind of military uniform. Or a catering service. What are from? Could be from Mars, Paul. I care. Hurry up there, boy, will you? I haven't got all day. Yeah, pay attention, son. I said pay attention. I haven't got all day. He's a good boy, but he's about as sharp as a bag full of mashed potatoes. Ah, the 1950s. A simpler time when the serial killers drove nicer cars. Hop in. I'll give you a lift. Lift? What is this well, it's lift? it's a long way into town. Okay, it's all right with me. Wait. So tell me, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Never saw a uniform like that before. What brings you here? I am searching for someone. Maybe I can help you. Know a lot of folks around these parts. Would he be kind of stocky with a little country I am accent? For someone you could not know. Do 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 do. One, two, four, three. Really put a lot of thought into that one. I put Sparky's breakfast out 20 minutes ago, Grandpa, and it's still here. Sparky used to love used cigarette butts. Hello. Hello, dear Mama. You've come to see our room for rent? What's that? I found to see the room for rent, Grandpa. You show it to him, will you? Joe will be by for me in a minute. We're going swimming at Alice's and I haven't even changed yet. Wow, you found the one human girl in town as expositional as your people are. I'm Betty Morgan, and this is my grandfather. Now, how do you do, son? Ew, you don't have all your fingers. Uh, just arrived in town? Don't believe I've seen you around before. I just arrived. And your name? Derek. Derek. The empty room belonged to my brother Bud. He's married now and lives upstate. The state of North your Genericalina. Brother? You knew your brother? Did I know my brother? That's a strange question to ask. Grandpa raised us both since we were kids after Mom and Dad died. I am sorry. I. It's just that I never knew any brothers or sisters. <laughs> your mother and father decided to play it smart and avoid a lot of squabbles around the house. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> I never knew my mother or father. Oh. Well, I'm just going to pretend like that wasn't awkward. If you like it, you're welcome to stay. It's this way. I'll show it to you. Hey, I thought you were getting ready to go swimming. No, that can wait. There's a man in the house, and for once he's not a thousand. <laughs> I'll just get back to narrating the incredible journey then.
Thank you.